to my channel. So today's video is, is going to be a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me. I'm going to be speaking on a bunch of different topics, including sexuality, going to university, COVID lockdown over here in Perth, WA. So if you would like to know a little life update while I get ready, then please keep on watching this video. Lately, I have been obsessing over this concealer. So it is the Too Faced Born This Way. Going to be using the colors Sand mixed with Snow, mainly just the applicator out of Snow and then mix it in with this because I am wearing a tan. I did put it on my face so it's slightly a bit more warm, but let's get that show on the brunch. I seriously can't believe how fast this year is going. Like it is nearly mid-February and probably will be mid-Feb by the time this video is up but what the heck like I feel like we just celebrated New Year's and then now it's like bam back to bloody time flying again <laughs> gonna start with the first little bit of exciting information and sort of life change that's going on so in two weeks today I actually start university so I didn't think that I'd be going back to uni for anything I actually genuinely did not think that uni was in the cards for me but after having like quite a few like live chats and thoughts about like what I want to do in the future and stuff I really feel like this is actually something that I really want to give a good crack and you're probably wondering what I'm about to study at university because if you have been watching my videos for a while you know that I did my diploma of nursing I'm a qualified EN but I actually want to go into a complete different field because my career that I wanted to do with like cosmetic nursing and stuff didn't really work out and it wasn't really exactly what I wanted to do so I've had to think about what I wanted to do and I came up with a bachelor of business it's going to be a two and a half to three year degree luckily my like transcripts from my nursing which I was not expecting are actually going to collate over into business so it's going to knock off pretty much 24 credits which is crazy and I'm going to be doing a major in human resources so that hopefully when I graduate I'm sure I'll have more of an idea of what I want to go into but at the moment I wouldn't really mind going into something like being able to go in and help the business and look at their business model and see sort of where they can improve. I find that that's quite interesting and I really want to be sort of like a higher up position in a company where I can really make some um, decisions that will have an impact on staffing and the business itself. I find all of that really interesting. So I think that this is what I need to do. I've sort of been living each week like on repeat and feeling kind of lost. So having more direction and something to really work towards. I feel like it's going to be super beneficial for me because yeah, like I said, I was just sort of stressing about what to do. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go into like childcare or if I wanted to go into business and study at uni so I find that now that I've got a path and like what I'm going to do is going to be perfect so I'm pretty much going to be studying on Monday, Tuesday and then going in on Friday so I'll have to change around my work roster which is actually kind of exciting and sort of new like I really am such a routine person so having this is actually really going to help me like focus on what's right and sort of give me more purpose in life because at the moment like I said before I'm just like constantly just being like I'm not doing anything and I just feel like I'm living each week for no reason. <laughs> also feel like this is going to be like good for all parts of my life because sometimes when I like see people and hang out with people I've got so much energy but everyone else has been like working full time or doing all of this other stuff and here I am with like full of energy and it's just like I need to start tiring myself out and putting my energy into something other than just chilling because at the end of the day like I'm not really getting anything done I said that I was going to focus on YouTube and then I've been kind of slack on that it's just hard for me to film videos and get motivated when I like feel pretty average like it's so hard to get up in the morning and be like oh I'm going to turn on the camera and talk to it because like at the end of the day like I am quite a positive upbeat person but you can't fake that on camera and I don't know just my mental health like game at the moment has been sort of stressed out I guess because of the whole feeling like I've got no purpose and almost feeling like I'm getting left behind which yeah I don't know it's not really the healthiest mindset but we'll get there like I said I don't know I am doing like super well overall it's just like little things and little things that happen and like I just question a lot of things but you know we'll get there I need to distract myself and keep myself busy because that's when my mind doesn't play games with me and I just find that this is going to be super good for all aspects of my life. <laughs> Pretty much I can't get government assistance until I am 22 but I've had a thought about it I'm just going to pretty much hustle until my birthday in August and then I'll probably cut down my shifts when um, uni is a little bit more hectic so that I can really focus on that because I don't want to do anything sort of half ass and I want to still have 
a balance and a social life because I'm such a social butterfly that if I had to like lose out that then I know that I wouldn't really be that happy so yeah that's like my plan at the moment just wanted to update you guys about that i sort of fell off the health and fitness bandwagon a little bit over the past couple of weeks we were in like a five day lockdown here in perth um and that sort of caught me by surprise and i just felt like wow like cool like my life's on pause i don't really know what to do gyms were sharp and now we'll have to wear a mask like when i do my workout i went for like a run and a walk this morning just to sort of get my body moving i'm fasting at the moment it's Currently nearly 12 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today. Has like gone through the stages of being like, I need to eat. And now I'm like, yeah, I'm actually feeling okay. So that's a positive. I'll probably just have like a big lunch and then just dinner and that's it for today. Just because I've honestly been eating like crap the past few days. And that's why I sort of want to like transition back to like keto because I was so disciplined on that for so long and then now after just like being around people that aren't really on it it's so hard to just like you know want to eat well and balance like you know I guess fun times with people that you'd miss out on if you were like doing such a strict diet I don't know it's such a hard thing to like find a balance but I need to find a balance otherwise then I won't stick to it and I know that I can definitely stick to it and I can do it it's just again when my mental health is not feeling that great I'm like man I don't really want to do it but at the end of the day, like, weight fluctuates, so I don't want to hold myself, like, you know, down from it and just want to get back into setting up a realistic plan that I can follow because if it's not realistic, like, it's just not going to happen, you know? I've been loving, like, glowy skin, like, full-on base and then nice, like, eyes. I've also stopped getting lash extensions at the moment because of COVID. My three-week lash appointment was um, cancelled with Eden. Eden's amazing. She's, like, been my lash artist since August. And I haven't had a break from lash extension since then. So it's been like, what, six months? So I thought, you know what, just to save some money and also give my eyelashes a break, I'm just going to um, tough it out. No lashes. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Back to normalcy. But I guess it's kind of good to have a break because I wear makeup quite a lot and I am going to be over the next few weeks because I do want to up my content game. So I know that when I have lash extensions on, it's just easier not to do makeup because it gets all in them and then it's just such a hassle to get them out. So now that I can sort of just scrub my face, wash it and not have to stress about taking it off it'll be a lot more ideal to put on makeup so that's another little life update about my freaking lashes not that crazy i want to also dye my hair auburn when it comes into um autumn weather which is march here in australia if you're wondering so i think i'm gonna go like an albany orangey toned color i've been wanting to do it for a while and i feel like that'll be quite interesting so maybe like either just before uni or just after uni starts because that's at the end of the month actually really not that far at all scary I can't believe it's happening but I'm excited I've sorted out my classes anyway enough of the uni chat I'm sure I'll update you more and keep you more updated on that as the experience goes on and as life falls into place using the Jaclyn Hill palette which is what I use on my eyes just gonna make sort of the underneath section look the same another little update or something I want to chat about is I guess sexuality I haven't really mentioned anything about this on my channel ever before but I sort of just want to like throw it out there I am in a relationship with a male at the moment but I do still want to speak on this topic because I still think it's like super important but I guess I see like a lot of things around and people are like sort of unsure about who they are or what they are and they can really like have I guess a negative impact on your mental health when you're not sure where you stick in but I just want to say like there's no such thing as like labels as such and you should do whatever makes you happy and if you want to experiment and stuff like go for it like you only have one life why are you going to live it being someone that you're not I think that it's so important to just you know do you and care less about what other people think I definitely used to care way too much about what people thought but I'm so big on self-love and being like if you don't like it it's your loss and just being confident and just not caring about what other people think because at the end of the day like they all weren't there like who goes to bed at night with you yourself or your partner and it's like you need to be happy with that person so I guess like if I want to share my sexuality, I guess I'm definitely leaning towards probably bisexual, I would say. Like I definitely find girls attractive and yeah, like I would love to experiment with that more. Obviously, um, I'm in a committed relationship, so that's not really applicable. But at the end of the day, I still am like getting those like. I don't know vibes from girls like I used to I guess always say like nah I could never date a girl like I'm so into guys but I feel like as more time goes on and I sort of see it I'm like you know what like maybe actually could see it more than that but I haven't really done much experimenting only really kissing girls on nights out and I find that fun <laughs> but who doesn't but 
I actually genuinely think that there could be like something more there and I just sort of wanted to share it on my channel because I love being open I love like opening the conversation and just normalizing things that sometimes aren't normalized as much as they should be so yeah if you're ever confused or anything I just like want you to know that like you should be able to be whoever you want to be and like don't let someone else make that judgment for you like it's your life, your choice, your body, you can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Today I'm filming a few TikToks, they're probably so cringe, but like hats off to those TikTokers, like far out, it's hard. Gonna take some pictures for the gram, just gonna, you know, ease into the week. It's a Monday, so it's a fresh start. Sort of just like getting back on my feet. I feel like I've had some weird energies lately and stuff, but it's all right. We get there, we get through it. That's what life's all about. Honestly, I've been dousing myself in setting spray. We have to wear masks as we go out. I can't believe that COVID literally just came back like hectic. I thought that we were safe in WA and then all of a sudden we're going to this five day lockdown. But honestly, there's so many other countries and stuff who have it so much worse. So my hat goes off to you. It's just so weird living in like unprecedented times where it's like, who knows what's happening next? What's going on? But you know, we'll live and we'll learn. Another exciting thing, Reese got kittens. That was really good timing with COVID. It was like the day before. Oh no, what have I done here? I've got to fix that. Um, So I pretty much just spent the whole lockdown literally just watching Netflix and chilling. And I'm such a person that doesn't like Netflix and chill like all the freaking time. But I actually kind of felt good to fully just let my hair down and fully just relax. I guess that's why I'm probably finding it harder to get back into the health and fitness thing. And plus I'm feeling like I'm going to die if I do nine round with my bloody mask on. But be done. I actually really like doing sit down chitty chat videos. If you guys have topics or stuff that you want me to cover, like that would be awesome. I'm gonna go do my lipstick, finish my hair, and then come back on camera. Just finished popping on my lipstick and I also just did my hair. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed catching up with me. I'm about to go make some TikToks and hopefully pull them together. So yeah, we'll see. Hope you're all staying super safe and super well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.